Hi everyone, I'm Julia Campbell here at Gems Boutique and this is Style in Color, an interview series with game changers in business, sport, technology and culture who advocate for women's empowerment. Today I had the pleasure of speaking with April Klo. April is the owner and operator of Sparkle and Shine, a cleaning business here on Prince Edward Island. Tune in to hear what she has to say about style and confidence. <laughs> Good morning, April. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? I am very well. As, I'm very well as well. <laughs> thanks for joining me. <laughs> thanks for having me. Uh, so, April, where does your daily routine take you, and what are you passionate about? Whew. So, first and foremost, the absolute first thing that I need to do in the morning is get up. Obviously, coffee. <laughs> coffee. And I love it when people say that because that's also me. Like, like I, uh, I actually think about it before I go to bed. And I'm now I'm on this little thing, so I'm only allowed to have one a day. So okay. it's got to be like a good coffee. Yeah. So um, and just to really get up and be with myself and and gather myself for the day. Nice. So that's immediately routine, and music. And music, nice. We're, yeah. we're actually a pretty big music house too. Yeah, we love music in our house. Yeah, right on. Yeah. And so you own and operate Sparkle and Shine. I do. I think yes. I've kind of heard the story before, but I'm really excited to hear it again <laughs> for everybody else to hear it. So kind of give us um, how it came to be. So it's been running now and operating for how many years? Uh, it'll be eight years in February. Okay. Crazy. Eight years. That's unbelievable. Yeah. And so how did you become an, were you an entrepreneur before? No, I had okay. no idea what I was doing. I actually still don't have any idea what I'm doing. I Love pretty it. much wing it on mm -hmm. a daily basis, mm -hmm. which is awesome and scary and all wrapped up into a neat little package. But um, Sparkle started uh, when I had left um, a seasonal position yeah. and they didn't really have anything available for me that I was interested in. So one of my girlfriends uh, that I had worked with all summer, um, she suggested after coming to my house once and it was very clutter free and tidy, um, that I started cleaning business or start cleaning houses right. to make some money because I didn't have a job. So, and I was like, you know, nobody's going to pay for that. In PEI. Right. Terrible of me to think that way. It's very small minded. I know. But, um, at that time it just wasn't something that was really popular. So, you know, this was November and I hemmed and hawed on it for a little bit. We got through Christmas and then in January I put an ad on Kijiji, um, you know, and I fluffed it up to make it sound like, you know, treat yourself to this. And right. honestly, no idea what I was doing. I bought some cleaning supplies and... So uh, at this point, it's just you. It's just me. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And uh, I got my first client in Hunter River, believe it or not. <laughs> and it took one person and it's just blown up since. Like, I had to remove that one ad and I don't think I've really advertised since. It's all just been word of mouth and... And you have a team now? Yeah, um, in high season, I say high season, so that's like uh, May to, totally. you know, the end of October, essentially. Yeah. Um, we usually have about 10. We could probably use some more at that, in those stages, but yeah. That's amazing. It's pretty like, really crazy. really it is, like that you've started on your own and you now have a business that supports like nine other people. And as you say, yeah. in, in, in high season, but I think, I mean, there's so many industries here, like we're, you know, we're the same our retail stores and a couple of our stores close. So many industries here are dependent on that May to October. Totally, yeah. yeah. And we do have like um, in the, and I say off season, but we're still busy, right? We right. still have Airbnbs that operate yearly. Right. Uh, and we do a commercial business side and we have construction and then we do residential as well. So it's not like we're not working. So we still when you stay pretty busy. You yeah. started with one home. And then as you say, like it basically just kept snowballing. Yes. Like word of mouth, people who knew people. Yeah. And then, and then you clean the for somebody and they're like, oh, you should clean for my friend. And my right. friend is looking for a cleaner or my next door neighbor or, you know, and it's gotten to the point um, for the residential side of it that we just have to say no more than we say yes. Right. Which is unfortunate, but obviously you want to be able to deliver quality versus quantity, right? Yeah, so that's absolutely. kind of where we draw the line. And yeah, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's amazing. I know, I love it. Uh, what does style mean to you? <sighs> that's, 
That's it. Um, it is a loaded question. I it mean, is a loaded question. There's going to be a lot of different. It totally, yeah. Uh, answers um, to this question. Because of my job, you know, yes. we work in Lulu's yep. every day. So, totally. Um, I don't know if I really have a style. It's just when I have the opportunity to, you know, not wear Lulu's. Yeah. That's, that's what I do. It's the Lulu, <laughs> the Lulu look and the non-Lulu look. Yeah, exactly. Because, um, it's a workout. It is. I mean, oh, like, yeah, yeah, totally. It's yeah. an absolute workout. You couldn't get dressed up to do it. And I've contemplated uniforms and such. Right. It's just, you want to be comfortable and you want to be able to breathe. And, you know, usually it, Lulu's and a shirt is the way you go. That's why I'm, I'm dressed for work right now. So, I mean, you're dressed for work, but you're still very glam. Yeah, well. I mean, the sparkle thing. You gotta throw a little like, I don't know if you guys like can see, I'm assuming that you can see her nails. Like check those. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> yeah, and actually, the last time I saw you in here, anyway, you had she had sparkles on her eyelashes, which was amazing. Yes, and that's coming back real soon. Yeah. So was that? Yeah. Yeah. Love it. So when you were naming your business, did was that like instant for you? Like you, like you didn't uh, have to think about that? Well, we did have to think about it, um, and by we, my partner and I, he helped me with that, but I knew that I wanted to have sparkle in the name. Right. And so you have to do, there is a, you know, a process that you have to go through because if it's incorporated by somebody yes, else or totally. if it's trademarked or yeah. whatever, you can't use that. So, um, yeah, and I just wanted to call it sparkle, but that was taken by somebody else. So we went with sparkle and shine because you make stuff shiny. Um, and it fits though. I, I love it because it, it fits your personality, but it also fits the job. Exactly. It fits yeah. the business. Well, and it needed to fit my personality because sparkle is my favorite color. So I needed to have yes. like... I've never heard that sparkle be a color. <laughs> it is. It's my favorite color. There's so many, <laughs> like it's so broad, but um, yeah, it's, it had to have, that had to be a part of it. Right. Because it's a part of me. So yeah absolutely yeah so what part of your style helps your confidence or is there any particular part of your style that helps your confidence I think my confidence helps my confidence nice if that's it's taken me a really long time to get to the point where I'm at right now in my confidence and I'm not like um, full of myself or anything like that but it's been it's taken me you know I'm 42 it's taken me 42 years essentially to get to the point where I'm my most confident self and it has nothing to do with my weight or you know because we all have our struggles trust yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm just really confident in my skin for the first time in my life so amazing yeah it makes such a big difference doesn't it and as you say being it's confident is far from being conceited or arrogant like confidence is all about you totally you know yeah. arrogance I think it, or when people talk about the difference like arrogance is you know feeling that you're better than someone but confidence is just it's all about you. Yeah, it's, you know, it's about, like, say if you're, this is the way that I look at, but if you cross the street, right, and you see people do this every day, um, and instead of, like, looking at the ground, it's just looking straight ahead. Yeah, Like, that's totally. just two, two totally different people, like, when you see that, and that's what I feel that, and, you know, not having to ask somebody how you look, you're okay to, you know, dress yourself and leave and be confident with how you look because... I love it. Yeah. That's actually a really good one. <clears throat> like looking down and, and, and looking up. There is there is a big difference there. There is. It makes a huge difference. And, you know, whether you're approachable or not approachable. And sometimes I'm not approachable because I'm, I catch myself doing it. But I try very hard to, you know, look straight ahead and, and look people in the eye and smile at them if I can. And, I mean, that doesn't happen often either because people don't look at you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I know. Yeah. Very true. So would you say that the starting the business and the success of the business and how like vulnerable that is. I mean, it's continually vulnerable whenever you run your own business um, or you can be, you can have those feelings. Do you think that that also helped the confidence level that you have now? Um, I think it helped me become the person that I am. Right. Hands down. Because until I was forced to make a decision to start something on my own, I didn't know I could do it. Right. And trust me, there's still days that I'm not sure I can do it. And yep. I second guess myself. And, you know, you let the demons in. I call them the demons. Oh, yeah. No, they are. Um, so they can really get inside of you. Mm -hmm. And you just, you know, you have to trust yourself and trust your process and, you know, not listen to negative feedback and appreciate it when it does come. Yeah. Um, and just do you. Mm -hmm. Right on. Right. Uh, what do you see with women's empowerment in your industry? Um, I don't, I wouldn't, 
pigeonhole my industry, I don't think. Like there's, you know, now it's, uh, you know, I clean houses and I clean toilets or yeah. whatever people right, right. want to say, right? But um, there is start, starting to be more of a movement, I suppose, uh, on that aspect. But I think it's just women in any industry in general, right? Yeah. That you can see how they're uh, building themselves up and working right. on themselves and creating these amazing things. Like you see women every day on Facebook, Instagram that are just doing these massive, awesome things for themselves and that's empowering. Yes, totally. Right? So you can take whatever energy from them and create your own into your own industry if you choose to. So you can learn so much from other women and what they're doing for themselves and totally. that lifts you up, yeah. I think. So that's that's very empowering to me yeah right on and I and I know and I assume that your team has obviously found empowerment in you the fact that you said you know what I want to make a living for myself and I'm gonna go out on a limb I'm gonna do this and not care about maybe what other people thought of it mm hmm and just said and as, as you say opposed and this is certainly the way I see it no matter what anybody does um, it, you know to first say I'm I'm a business owner I'm an entrepreneur mm -hmm. whatever you do after that follows it yep you know you're so I feel that there's uh, you, you don't you're not defined by there's many roles within your business there right? is there's so many roles yep. that you that you have and to I play. don't I think they empower me right I don't think I empower them because without them hands down I wouldn't be where I am today right so they make me want to be better want to do more right and you know that I'm just so blessed to have them like it's I can't even describe it. Right. I've been very lucky, and this team of women, and it is mostly women that work with me, uh, they're amazing. So That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's so amazing to have a good team around you. And I bet if we did ask them, they would say that they're all very clever. <laughs> I know that they would. They're lovely. Uh, your icons, do you have any icons or heroes? In, um, in I just... Specifically? I think uh, my hero is my mom. Love it. Uh, she's currently battling her second bout of breast cancer and that woman wears the biggest cape I know of a hero so Amazing. she doesn't complain she doesn't she just takes it um, and icons you know I'm like the old school Marilyn heck yeah right Sophia Loren nice like girls who ate pasta drank wine yes and were just their authentic selves yes and broke yes. down so many stereotypical bit, right? right yeah broke down so many so I love their story. I mean, clearly they did because they're still. I mean, that was the, that was what 50, 50, 60, yeah, 70 years ago, and they're exactly. still it's crazy. We're, we're still talking about them. Yes, absolutely. And I think we will. And talk there's about still them for a ton of women in the you know the world. Like yesterday was Halloween. People would have dressed up yeah. as a Marilyn. Yeah, I have. Before. We still talk about it. It wasn't even for Halloween. It was exactly. just like dress up. Who do you want to dress right? up as? Marilyn. Why not? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, I want a platinum blonde wig and a white dress. <laughs> That's fine. And a fan underneath yes <laughs> exactly and, and somebody a fan. Yeah. <laughs> and a crew yeah and a crew running. I want that <laughs> every day goals yeah 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 um helps or causes close to your heart definitely cancer hands down right yeah that's you know that's it and I uh we like to pay it forward so nice we do stuff that you know we don't talk about it to anybody because it's just stuff that we do and yeah yeah I love paid forward so do I. Really and truly. It's and happening really before. Random. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And when it happens to you, you're like, oh, it's huh. the best. Other people do it. And then, yes. And then you, yes, yes. Because you, the feeling you get, like you, you want someone else to have that. Because mm -hmm. as yeah. you say, like when it, when it happens to you, it is. Yeah, it's amazing. So yeah, I special. always think that you just be like, I mean, you know, be nice to people. Yeah. If you can. Yeah. If they're willing to accept it. So, yes. Yeah. And last question, when you can have more than one answer to this, what do you love about yourself? Whew. It's always tough to talk about yourself. It is. But, um, I think I love my work ethic because I do work very hard. Um, and I love the fact that I'm starting to work on my health more than I have before. Good for you. Um, and that's not necessarily weight driven that's 
you know, health driven. Yes. Like I want to be healthier, not skinnier. Yeah. Right. Not no disrespect to anybody in saying that. It's just. No, gosh. <clears throat> I don't think there should be any yeah. disrespect to anyone taking yeah. by that comment. No, it's uh and body health, mind health, all of it, emotional. All health. of it. Yes. yes. And my confidence. That's I've worked really hard to to get to a point where I'm okay with myself. Yeah. For the first time in my life, so I'm very proud of that. You should be. Yeah. So those are my. Those are your loves about I you. I guess my go-to's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right on. It's hard to talk about love for yourself. Right? Oh, it is. It totally it is. is. It is for um, everybody. There's very few people out there that that I think don't hesitate or like you know you just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Because people don't like to talk about themselves. No. And it's usually in a negative manner. So when you ask them to say something positive. They're like, oh, I don't know if I have that yeah. answer. I don't know if I do that. <laughs> it's taboo. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But it's yeah. not. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for having me. Oh, my gosh. I was so a little much. nervous before I got here, so. <laughs> no, you know, it's funny because, I mean, people say that, and even I, you know, I still get, like, a little yeah. bit nervous before we do this, but it's always so amazing to hear people's stories and like all we need is a glass of wine it's like chatting with Brent <laughs> I know exactly I know it's funny too because I do most of these in in the morning but um the evening ones would be good yeah totally have a little glass of sparkling wine before yeah. we start and then just dive right in celebrate life you would be like I love this about me this about yeah. me this about me <laughs> yeah all right everyone take care cheers nice thanks see you later bye <laughs>